pitch side here at Upton Park for one final time. Our last ever visit to this part of East London and one man who's played here a few times, might have some fond memories, Villa legend Nigel Spink. Nigel, any uh, that stand out playing here? It was always a difficult place to come to, uh, Upton Park, because of the nature of the ground. I mean, it's, it's a bit, bit uh, spread out more than it was when we played. Um, so it's, uh, it is a tough place to come and play, but it's, uh, it's another opportunity to, for three points tonight. Yeah, Ken McNaught's with us uh, this afternoon. You've got some uh, fantastic recollections of playing with him. What was he like to play behind? Well, he was awesome, wasn't he? You know, um, coming on in, in 82 and um, playing behind him and Alan Evans was, was, was massive for me because of the, the stature of the pair of them. Um, so, and, he, and he's still an immense guy, you know. He, he loves his football, he loves the villa and, uh, you know, he, he's very passionate about, about the club. Yeah. Can you believe that night in Rotterdam nearly 34 years ago? I've got to say you've aged well. <laughs> well, I don't know about that, but uh, <laughs> yeah, you do You do remember it. I mean, um, I think it was on uh, VHS that it was recorded, <laughs> uh, but but you can get it transferred these days. So, uh, yeah, I watch the game occasionally and, you know, I mean, like every Villa supporter, I'm sure their uh, the hairs go up on the back of their neck when that, when that goal goes in. Yeah, not quite in black and white, but uh, moving forward to the current day, the keepers now, Brad Goose and a Mark Bunn. Just psychologically, I mean, you must have been through this yourself. Mark Bunn had to wait for his chance a long time and has come to the forefront. And, and Guzan, who had been number two, was the senior man and now he's waiting in the wing. So what are they going through psychologically? Yeah, I've been through both scenarios um, at, at Villa. Um, it, it, you have to be patient. And Mark, Mark Bunn's, you know, he's uh, settled into the club. Um, and waited for his chance. He's been patient, um, and I was five years before, if, you know, only playing one game with Jimmy Rimmer. So um, I, I had to be patient as well. But I, I was getting a good quota of football, which I don't think uh, reserve team goalkeepers do these days. They don't get as much football as we did uh, in the reserves. But um, you know, when when my chance came, I was lucky, lucky enough to grab it. Um, and, and Mark seems to have done the same. You know, as for Brad. Um, it's an opportunity for him. It's been a new thing for him since he, since he got into the team. You know, being out of the team is a new a new thing for him. And you know, and he'll learn a lot about himself now. Um, how he deals with it is up to him. You know, he's got to be psychologically strong and uh, train hard and and get himself back to to where he was uh, a year a year or so ago. And you know, uh, new coach Eric Black quite well. You think he'll be a, a good appointment for the club? Yeah, absolutely. On on um, on two sides really because uh, obviously the perilous situation that we're in at the moment uh, he'll bring something to the party even in that situation he'll bring an organization an house um, and, and, and an ethic to, to the to the playing staff um, he, he's fluent in French so he you know him, him and Remy will get on really really well and I'm sure that's part of the part of this the thing that why Remy's brought him in um, and I've known Eric for a long time, and uh, but you know if if the worst case is that we go down, um, Eric knows the championship very very well, and he'll know the criteria of what's needed to get back into the Premier League. Are you fluent in French yourself? We. Oui. <laughs> Merci beaucoup, Monsieur Spink. Fifteen games to go, nice. You never know; it's going to be tough, though, isn't it? Yeah, I mean it's it's been massive, but you know every you know the, the players have got to go out. Every game's an opportunity now. They've got to yeah. go out, um, have a right go. Uh, and try and score more goals than the opposition. Okay, thanks for joining us. You're looking very well no indeed. Problem. Nigel Spink here, pitch side at Upton Park.